Hey, what's good guys, Zach here. So this year we came across a whole bunch of great tech, a lot of which would make great gifts this holiday season. So we went ahead and compiled a list of tech items that are sure to complement your loved ones and their Android devices. All right, so first up is the obvious choice, a Google Play gift card. There's always those few applications people wanna get their hands on, but they're not always willing to shell out 99 cents here and there. So go ahead and pick them up a Play Store gift card. That way they can get great apps like Weather Timeline, Phoenix for Twitter, Nova Launcher Prime, and more for free. Next up, we have Google Home. Now, if you're already familiar with Amazon's Echo and its personal assistant dubbed Alexa, look at this as Google's answer to that very product. This is a great way to get quick access to the search giant, allowing you to ask and search for pretty much anything. Find out who won the Clippers game, what the weather's like, where Santa is, what 354,698 divided by 34.6 is, and now you can even tell it to cast Netflix shows to your TV. There are loads of things that you can do with Google Home and it's only going to get better from here. Google Home goes for about 130 bucks, which is cheaper than the Amazon Echo, but if you want a personal assistant and you're not looking to spend over $100 on one, check out Amazon's second generation Echo Dot. It does pretty much everything that the regular Echo does, things like controlling your smart home devices, playing music, etc. But at a fraction of the size and the cost. For only 50 bucks, this is a great way to get started with a personal assistant for your home. Next up, we have tech for your wrists. The Fitbit Charge 2 and the Samsung Gear S3. Now the Gear S3 is pretty much the Swiss army knife of smartwatches. It does everything. Aside from telling time, you can use the Gear S3 to answer text messages and social media notifications. You can summon an Uber, check out the latest news stories. It can be your fitness tracker. You can use it to pay for stuff and a whole lot more. So as far as smartwatches go, this is one of the best, but it is a little pricey. And that's where the continued Gear S2 comes in for under 250 bucks. However, if fitness tracking is the primary focus, the Fitbit Charge 2 is the way to go. It's arguably the best tracker out there. It's reasonably priced at $130, and it's easily the best way to keep track of your heart rate, how many calories you've burned, how many steps you've taken, and much more. So if you know someone who's looking to get into or maintain shape, this is the tech companion to hook them up with. Now let's talk about wireless audio. First up, headphones. Our pick are the V-Moda Crossfade Wireless. Coming in at 300 bucks, these are some of, if not the best all-around wireless headphones you can get in this price range. Not only do they sound fantastic and they're sure to please just about any audiophile, but you can actually customize the ear cup face plates as well, and this is something that you can't really do with other headphones. These headphones check boxes that a lot of the competitors can't, which makes them a super solid choice as a tech gift. Now, if you're not looking to spend $300 on a pair of headphones, Sony's got their XB 950s on sale for about 90 bucks. These right here are a bass lover's dream. They sport rather large 40 millimeter drivers and a killer 20 hours of battery life. You can also check out Ghost Tech's SoDrop 2s. These have been crowned the best Bluetooth headphones under $100 by many tech YouTubers, including myself. So it's definitely safe to say that these are a great buy as well. Now, if you're into something that's a little more portable, take a look at the Jaybird X3s. All things considered, these are probably your best bet when it comes to wireless earbuds. They sound fantastic, they have solid battery life, you can get them in multiple colors, and personally, I can't find a reason to look for earbuds above this price range. Now, for half the cost of the X3s, you could check out the Soundpeats Q16s, which are a set of completely wireless earbuds. Yes, no buyers whatsoever. I've been using these for a few weeks myself, and I can say with confidence that these would make an awesome gift. Finishing off Bluetooth audio, we have the UE Roll 2 and a bamboo speaker from Archer. The UE Roll 2 will be the speaker that people take with them everywhere. It's not the largest speaker out there, which makes it super portable, and the great thing about it is that it doesn't sacrifice the sound performance whatsoever. It can connect to up to three devices at the same time, it boasts a solid nine hours of playback time, an insane 100 foot connection range, and it's also waterproof, making it one of the best all around speakers you can get in this price range. Also in this price range is Archer's Bamboo Speaker. For 100 bucks, you can pick up this beast of a speaker, reminiscent of something from the House of Marley collection. This thing is built like a tank, and yes, that's real bamboo. This thing gets incredibly loud, and as far as sound goes, this will drive bass lovers crazy. In a good way, of course. This is definitely a speaker for the bass heads out there, not to mention it's one of the most attractive speakers on the market. This too is a great buy. Nearing the end of the list, we have Anchor's Power Banks. I mean, who couldn't use one of these things, right? I've been using Anchor's Power Banks forever, and I'm convinced that these are the best of the best. Anchor's got all sorts of power banks with different capacities ranging from 5,000 milliamps to 25,000 milliamps. So make sure you've got everybody covered and all of their devices are charged up while on the go with a few of these. You cannot go wrong. And lastly, don't forget about VR headsets. We all know that there are loads of these on the market, and the best two being Google's new Daydream VR for their Pixel devices and Samsung Gear VR. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the Android Police channel if you haven't already. All of the links to these products will be listed down below in the description, so make sure you check them out. But anyway, that does it for me. Happy holidays, and thanks for watching.